please stand for the bride. Welcome family and friends. My name is Mehran Rashidian, and I'm Sherry's uncle. It is an honor that they invited me to officiate their wedding as they proclaim their love in front of the people most important to them. Today is a celebration of the love that Sherry and David share and a recognition of the union that exists in their hearts. On their behalf, thank you for taking the time to celebrate with them, especially those of you who have traveled far. I will be translating parts of the ceremony in Farsi to make sure we are inclusive of Sherry's elders who are present today. Ba salam be hamaye azizan. Be jashn arusi Sherry va David khosh amadid. Man Mehran dai Sherry hastam va khoshhalam ke az man khastam marasim aqd ra ejra konam. این مراسم به زبانهای فارسی و انگلیسی ترجمه میشه که همه شما در شادی عروس و داماد شریک باشید. حالا مراسم و رسوم سفره عقد را برای عزیزانی که ایرانی نیستند توضیح میدیم و مراسم را شروع میکنیم. The sofra 
decorated and prepared beautifully by the bride's mother, Mitra Rashidian, has been part of the traditional Persian weddings for thousands of years. Each item carries a profound and deep message to the life this young couple is about to begin as one. For thousands of years, the sofra has symbolized the union of body, spirit, and soul. The bride and groom face a mirror. Their reflection symbolizes eternity. The candles symbolize light and fire, two very important elements in the Zoroastrian culture. They represent brightness, divinity, and purity in the couple's life together. Food items symbolize prosperity for the feasts and for the couple's life thereafter and flowers symbolize beauty and growth. Happily married women hold the cloth of unity over the couple's head, and as they wish the couple's everlasting unity, sprinkle sugar to shower their life and marriage with sweetness and joy. Rumi govt باشد که این ازدواج پر از خنده باشد هر روز ما روزی در بهشت است باشد که این ازدواج پر از مهربانی باشد پیمانه خوشبختی برای امروز و برای همیشه The following is a poem written by Rumi May this marriage be full of laughter our every day a day in paradise May this marriage be a sign of compassion, a seal of happiness here and hereafter. Marriage requires a partnership that goes beyond soulmates. It takes a great deal of compassion, kindness, and unconditional support, the kind that you only find with a best friend. These aspects allow you to build a strong foundation of partnership while respecting those things that make you unique and special. It's this kind of mutual respect and love that will take you to the greatest heights of a successful marriage. The wedding is a moment in time, a celebration of family, love, and friendship. Sherry and David, your marriage will be the lifelong fulfillment of the promises you both make to one another today. I would like to invite Sherry's cousin, Dr. Mitra Raheb, to read a passage from the Holy Book. If I have all the power, all the knowledge, all the things, but do not have love, then I have nothing. Love is patient, love is calm. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in sin. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves, for love never fails. Let love be genuine, reject what is evil, keep what is good. Love one another, with mutual affection. Honor thy one another above yourself. Be joyful in hope, be patient in suffering. Live in harmony with one another. Clothe thyself with compassion, with kindness, with humility, with gentleness and patience. Bear with one another, for if anyone has a complaint against one another, Forgive one another. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which finds everything together in perfect harmony. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of love. Okay.
is where we stand. Yeah. This is oh. where we stand. <laughs> آقل در حضور اقوام و دوستان مراسم عقل را اجرا می کنه و سه بار از عروس بله می خواد تا عروس رضایت بده امروز ما این مراسم را کمی متفاوت اجرا می کنیم خانواده و دوستان برای شری و دیوید خیلی مهم هستند از همگی دعوت می کنم که شاهد عهد و پیمان اونها باشه که زندگی مشترکشون رو با هم شروع کنند Friends and family are very important to Sherry and David. I ask that everyone here act as a witness to their vows and continues to support them as they start their life together as husband and wife. Sherry and David, the love you feel today is only the beginning. As your marriage matures, your love will grow, strengthen, and guide you through all the life events you will share together. As you exchange your vows, know that the promises you make today will be promises you keep for life, and know that as time passes, your marriage will become deeper and richer with every day you spend together. Sherry and David have prepared their personal vows to each other. We'll start with Sherry to share her vows with David. To, uh, hello. Okay. <laughs> Today marks two years since we met. Happy anniversary, my soon-to-be husband. I always remember the first time I saw you and how I felt. Your beautiful honey-colored flower bomb eyes and billion-dollar smile almost blinded me. Once we started talking, I realized that you encompassed everything I had dreamed of. To find a love so easy and simple as ours in the modern and complex world we live in is so rare for our generation, and I will never take this blessing or union for granted. <laughs> I did pretty well today. Okay, over the last two years, I had the opportunity to learn who you are as a person. And as a result, I fall more in love with you every day. Thank you for never giving me a reason to doubt you. If the only issue we have is your wandering eye for dogs, then we're in pretty good shape. You have filled my life with joy and have given me a sense of peace that I have never known. You demonstrate your masculinity with your values and your respect towards me and others. You are always my biggest supporter and making me a better individual than I would have been on my own. Although today marks the start of the rest of our lives, I will always wish for more time with you. And because words cannot do it, I promise to show you for the rest of my life how much I love you. I promise to encourage you to follow your dreams and to continue exploring the world together. I promise to hold your hand through the good times and the bad times, and I will be your greatest advocate. I promise to be loyal and faithful and to put you before all else. 
I promise to always keep the freezer stocked with dates and Sangak bread. And if there's only one date, I promise to always let you have it. And I promise that when we are old and gray, we will look back on our lives together and have no regrets. Sherry, you are the love of my life. I love you with all my heart. I love everything about you. You are the sweetest, most beautiful, most charming, most caring woman I have ever known. You are smart, hardworking, successful, and a perfect role model for young women everywhere. I'm so happy to be here getting married to you today in front of the people that mean the most to us and I'm so happy that soon I will be able to call you my wife. Today I will become your husband and I promise to be the best husband I can possibly be. From now on I will always be there for you in good times and bad, in sickness and in health. I will always be there for you to get through the difficult moments of life. I will always be there for you to turn regular daily life into pure joy and happiness simply because we are together. From now on, I promise to take care of you when you are sick, to comfort you when you are sad, to cheer you on when you are chasing your goals, and to support you when you are facing challenges. And most importantly, I promise to love you, to cherish you, and to never take you for granted. You are truly a rare beauty and a rare gem, and I am the luckiest man in the world. I will love you and adore <laughs> I will love you and adore you always. Sherry. I love you so much. And I vow to be your devoted husband for as long as we both shall live. Sherry and David, knowing that it is your intention to be wed to each other, I now ask you to declare your marriage vows. David, do you take Sherry to be your wedded wife to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall live. Thank you. Sherry, do you take David to be your wedded husband to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him so long as you both shall live? These rings are symbols of eternity, an unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end. Today you have chosen to exchange rings as a sign of your love for each other and as a seal of the promises you make this day. David, as you take Sherry's left hand and place this ring on her finger, repeat these words after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And with all I am. And with all I am. And all I have. And all I have. I honor you. I honor you.
Sherry, as you take David's left hand and place this ring on his finger, repeat these words after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And with all I am. And with all I am. And all I have. And all I have. I honor you. I honor you. Sherry and David باهم عهد بستند که زندگی مشترکشون رو شروع کنند و این قسمت برنامه رو با مراسم اصل خاتمه میدیم با آرزوی اینکه کام عروس و داماد همیشه شیرین باشد As a symbol of starting your married life in sweetness we ask that you each dip your pinky in honey as part of the tradition of a Persian wedding ceremony. Sherry and David, you have committed yourselves to each other in marriage by exchanging of vows and rings. It is truly my honor and privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. David, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give me a round of applause to our newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Pimentel.